Weather Day Update. Hey, good morning. Thanks so much for waking up with us right here on Fox Carolina. I'm Christy Waite, First Alert Meteorologist Chrissy Kohler, tracking this First Alert Weather Day. Good news is we are starting to see this kind of break up on the back end of it now, but still some places could see some heavy rainfall. Yeah, and you mentioned this, Chrissy, that on your way in just a little mm -hmm. while ago, we did yeah. have some ponding on the roadways out there. We had some decent rain through the overnight hours last night, so that certainly could still be an issue for some of you. Uh, the back edge of this, though, is moving Moving quickly through our area here. We're looking at a loop over just the last two hours where we still had widespread rain around 3 a.m. And now that we've got to 5 o'clock, this is starting to move uh, west, east of our area. Excuse me. Uh, it's been a long morning. Uh, we are drying out nicely across western parts of the upstate, all of northeast Georgia, looking on the drier side. Oconee, Pickens, down into Anderson, and even Abbeville County on the drier side, as well as those western mountains. But we do have a severe thunderstorm warning just to the south of Greenwood County, Newberry County. County as well. It's this line that's moving through Batesburg, Leesville. So if your travel plans take you south of our area, be aware of that strong thunderstorm with those winds gusting upwards of 60 miles per hour and still some heavy rain if you're traveling uh, just to the south of Newberry down towards the Midlands. That's where the threat is going to be the highest now at this point. We've got some spotty showers through Greenwood out towards 96 and into Kirksey back towards Abbeville. A little bit of light rain with some more scattered showers throughout Lawrence County down around Lawrence Cross Hill out towards Joanna. It picks up and is a little more steady out towards Whitmire with Cross Anchor Union. Uh, Pauline and Spartanburg still seeing that steady rain up towards Gaffney and into Mayo. And then as you look back off to the east, we've got some scattered showers here in the northern parts of Greenville County up over the North Carolina border. But overall, we're starting to trend on the drier side there. Do want to quickly remind you that we still have a tornado watch, but at this point, I do think this is likely going to be canceled pretty shortly here because we do have that in effect till 8 o'clock. But at this point, the threat has passed. We're going to talk more about when this is going to get completely out of here, but the effects behind the system that we're going to see for the next several days coming up here in just a few minutes. Christy.